hello guys welcome back to a new tutorial series of android sqlite tutorial in this tutorial series i will demonstrate all the database operations like insertion deletion updation creation of table etc using a complete android application so you can easily understand the sqlite database uh, because i demonstrate all the databases operation based on a complete Android application. Here we can see the structure of that particular Android application that we are going to create. Here it contains four buttons. First button is for login, second button for register, register a new user and third button for the update information and the final button for delete user. So whenever you click the login button it will ask for enter the username and enter password and you can log in here. That means you can access your database to login and when you click the register button here you need to enter your username and you have to enter your password and you need to confirm your password and you can register on this page and on this update by clicking the update info button uh, it will lead you to again to the login page here you need to login and if you are login success then you have to enter a new username and you can update the database and finally you can delete a particular row from the database by using the delete user button so here again you need to login to delete your account if the login is success you need to enter your password to delete your account so by clicking the delete account button you can delete your uh, you can delete your account from this android application so that is our aim on this tutorial series so now we have to create uh, now I am going to demonstrate what are the preparation uh, to create the database and create the database table. So first you have to create your database. Uh, first you have to create the contents of your table. So create a new Java class. Create a new Java class. I name the Java class as table. I name it as table 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 data table data and click finish now the class is created first I have to create an empty constructor a default constructor so public public table data public table data it's a default constructor Okay, just create a default constructor to avoid accidental declaration, accidental object creation of this class. So now I have to create an inner class, public static abstract is an abstract class, public static abstract class, abstract class, public static abstract class. Uh, I named it class as table info, table info. Uh, and here I'm going to implement this class using the base column interface implements base columns implement the base column interface so by implement the base column interface your inner class here the table info class uh, will inherit a primary key field called ID that is not necessary but it is sometimes it's it is required by some uh, some cursor adapter classes so this is the recommended way of uh, initializing your table column names so here I'm going to initialize the column names here I'm going to initialize all the column names variables here uh, first column name first first column name is the username so I create the variable public final string create key for the first column name so public final string username that one that is the first column in our database table so public final string username I declare I initialize this string with the value username 
uh, this one is the actual name of the column on our table this is uh, this is a, this is act as a key and the second column name is the user password so final string and final string I change change it as static variable public static so public static final string final string the second column name is user pass user password so I it is a user pass and initialize that variable with the value user pass okay now put a semicolon to end this declaration okay now we have to define your our database name and table name so public static final public static final final string public static final string first is the database name database database name I named the database as user user info I named the database as user info now we have to create uh, we have to create a variable for our table name so public static final public static final public static final string table name table name equal to I name the table as register info reg info okay save it okay now we uh, finish all the declaration of our table contents I just create an inner class called the table info and that contain our table column names and our database name and our table name okay now we have to create the database and table so I have to create another Java class I name the Java class as database operations database I name the class as database operations database operations and browse for a super class browse for a super class uh, that super class is SQLite open helper that is the class name SQLite open helper okay and click finish now we got the class and uh, here you can see we got two override method called on create and on upgrade there are two override we got two override method called on create and on upgrade also you have to add a constructor here so I just add a constructor here and that constructor contain uh, some arguments it's called the cursor factory version and uh, your database name and an object of the context we don't know this we just need the context object only so I just uh, remove all other arguments I just remove all other arguments we just need the context object only so now we have to create our database here so first I have to create an integer that declare the database version so I declare an integer public static final int uh, database version database version equal to 1 I just initialize the database version as 1 so and final integer variable okay now we can create the database on this method called the database operation so you can just invoke the super class method using the super keyword so in this method you can create your database so we just invoke the SQLite open helper constructor using the super keyword you have to pass three arguments four arguments a context object uh, your database name and cursor factory and version 
Okay, you can get your database name from this class called the uh, table info. So you can call this variable using that class name called the table info. So here I call the database name variable table info refer that abstract class name. That class name is table info table info dot uh, that database name variable called a database name and here we not using any cursor factory object so I pass null instead of it I just pass null and here you need to pass your database version here the database version is on the variable called the database version integer variable okay now we successfully create our database We just successfully create our database now. Okay, now we have to create our table. We can create our table on this method called onCreate, and you can create your table using an object of SQLite database class. So here uh, we already got an argument, an object of SQLite database. I changed the object name as SDB. So now we have to create Okay, now we have to create the query to create the table on our database. We have to create the command for creating the database. So I create a string variable here public public string public string create query create query. The query is much same as uh, other databases like MySQL or SQL Server. So here is the create query statement create table, create table, create table. Table name, we got the table name from this variable called the uh, table name. So we can uh, call this variable here. The table name is reg info. Okay, here the table name is reg info. So create table. Uh, now we can call the table name, table name variable on that class. And now you need to provide the data type. So the class name is table info dot provide the table name. Here the variable is table name. Now you have to specify the data type on the first column. You have to specify the data type for the first column. Sorry, first I have to we have to declare the first column name. Our first column name is the user username. Our first column name is the username. So we have to refer that using table info that last name table info dot our first column name is username so call that variable now close the variable section using the plus operator now we have to specify the data type here the data type is text and you have to put a comma operator between two column declarations and now we have to specify the second column name our second column name is table info dot user pass table info dot uh, user pass that is our second column name okay that is the second column name user pass Now we have to specify the data type for the second column name. Here the second column name is also a text type, so I just specify the data type as text. Now we have to close the brackets of column declaration and you have to end the query using a semicolon. And now we have to end our statement here, statement on this class using a semicolon. Okay. So this is the query to create 
table on our SQLite database. This is just create a table and just use the table name and you have to specify the uh, two column names and its data type. Don't forget to add a comma operator between the two column names. Okay, now we have to create, we have to execute that query here using the SQLite database object. So I use that object dot. We have to use the method called execute SQL. And you have to pass that query here. Okay, now we successfully, so whenever we execute this method, our database, uh, our table automatically created. There is no need to override, uh, there is no need to call these methods. These are override method and uh, uh, invoked automatically. So now I have to specify some logcat message to check the status of our database operation. So I create a statement here log.d. You have to specify a tag here. I specify the tag as database operations, database operations. Now you have to specify your message here. Here the message is we successfully create the database, database, uh, database created, database created and also I put the same logcat message on the table creation after the table creation statement here uh, table created or one row inserted sorry table is here the table is created so table created okay now we successfully completed the database on table creation now go to the second part of this tutorial